Hey, what is good, A Team? It's your boy, A T. If y'all couldn't tell from the title, today we are back with another food review. You feel me? Now, y'all still ain't been letting me know what y'all want me to check out, bro. I told you, it could be fast food products. It could be store-bought products like a random brand dropped a new cereal or a new ice. Like, just some random stuff, you feel me? It could be whatever y'all want me to try out. But y'all ain't said nothing. I'm thinking about doing a couple food challenges, maybe like a hot chip challenge with some of my boys. I feel like that would definitely be dope, but um, either way, bro. We're here today for Taco Bell's Toasted Cheddar Chalupa. Now, they dropped this before some months ago, um, or it might have been last year in 2019, and I did try it then. Um, for all the ones who don't know, the Chalupa is my favorite of the Taco Bell products, but normally I don't get it because it's like they charge like four fifty for like one of them. I like, guess like three, three fifty to like four fifty for one chalupa. So I don't normally get it, but that's definitely my favorite product from Taco Bell. But I normally just pull up and get some off their dollar menu, the little, uh, the shredded chicken quesadilla thing that's like one dollar, and then they got a beef quesadilla as well that's a dollar. So I normally just cash out on those and call it a day, get some mild sauce with it. Um, but either way, they just re-release. Why do I keep forgetting the name? I don't know, but the Toasted Cheddar Chalupa. So I'm about to cash out today, bruh. So y'all going to see at least two to three ad, ad breaks in here. <laughs> I got to make my money back, Koji, feel me? Because I'm about to spend like $15, $20 at Taco Bell. That's tough. But um, either way, they have, I think the first time they released it, they only put out the beef. But this time they brought it back with beef, chicken, and steak. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all three of those, and then I'm gonna get one regular beef chalupa, just so we can compare the actual shells and stuff like that. I haven't seen anybody who's done all three in one video, so this might be a first for y'all. Either way, hopefully y'all enjoy it. I'm about to show y'all me going through on the app and purchasing it, cause this will be my first time purchasing it through the Taco Bell app, and I'm gonna just pull up over there and pick it up. Um, so yeah, man, I mean, really, we ain't got too much else to say. We about to go ahead and check it. I might throw some timestamps in here of when we start actually eating and reviewing it just for the ones who might be here to just see me eating the actual food, you feel me? But hey, bro, um, really ain't no need to hold it up. We about to go ahead and hop on into it, coach. All right, coach. Safety first, purchase in the app. For contactless transactions, play it safe by paying safely. It doesn't even make sense though. Because if I still have to go pick the food up that y'all made, what's the difference? I mean, I guess they're saying that you're not handing them your payment, but I guess. Collect rewards. Customize your order. All right, coach. Now this here. Hold on, I got, hold on, coach. Your boy got to log in. Give me a second. A few moments later. Now, as y'all can see on their home page, they got this $5 cheddar chalupa box. Um, now, I thought this came with two chalupas, so I was definitely going to get the actual box, but it's only one chalupa, a regular soft or hard shell taco, the cinnamon twist, and a drink. I don't want any of that except the chalupa, so I'm just going to go ahead and order these separately. Toasted cheddar. Ch oh, it's only two ninety nine for that. That ain't have. I don't know. What's the regular chalupa price? Is it the same? A black bean chalupa. That sounds disgusting. No cap. Hold on, coach. I'm, about, I'm just about to check and see what the regular chalupa price is. I would assume it's three dollars as well for the regular beef, but I believe the chicken and the steak options are more. Yeah, so chicken is three seventy nine. Do they have a steak on here? I don't see a steak. Either way, if they got it, we gonna order it. We'll find out once we get through to that. But um, I guess I'll go ahead and add one of these. So I add a chicken, one of those, and a. Man, we all all out of focus. I ain't even say nothing to me, coach. I just added one, two, and three. I don't see the steak option on here though, bro. What's going on? Let's see if I can customize it. 
What? Oh, okay. So steak right there. Do I want the to? Uh, I'll take it with all the stuff that comes on it, I guess. Um, sauce. Do they add this on? No, I don't need none of that. All right, coach. So we got all four in here. We got a regular chalupa with, with a beef. Toasted cheddar with chicken. Toasted cheddar with beef. Toasted cheddar with steak. Now y'all can see the price difference. $2.99 for the regular. Can y'all see that? Yeah, $2.99 for the regular. $2.99 for the toasted with beef. $3.79 for the one with chicken. $3.99 for the steak. Four dollars. These right here are actually pretty good, but I, I ain't even gonna do it. I ain't trying to do too much. Thirteen dollars. That ain't bad, but I normally would not spend this much at Taco Bell. You feel me? I'm spending less than five, no cap. So we about to go ahead and check out. We add a couple sauces. Six of them. Should I get some hot? Yeah, I'll, I'll get one, one of each of these. Try that on there. I've never had, I don't like the hot sauce like that, so. It is what it is. Hey, y'all see my location, coach? Let me pull it up. Hold on. Where for now, drive through. Should I go ahead and pay with the Apple Pay? All right, coach. The order is placed. See, we got a Taco Bell transaction for fifteen thirty-five. I ain't about to rate this. All right, so what do we do when we get there? Check in at drive-through. Drive up to the speaker. Give us the name of your order. Then we'll start preparing your food. So, so, so they're not gonna actually make it until I get there. I thought maybe they would have started making it, and then when you pull up, it's already ready. But either way, at least that means it'll be hot. But hey, we about to go ahead up to Taco Bell. It's only a couple minutes away. And I'll catch y'all when we get there. Bro, this line is way longer than I expected. I mean, I low-key want to just go inside. Should I do it, y'all? First off, look at this. Look at this pink Escalade over here. That thing look kind of clean, don't it? That's an Escalade. That's a Cadillac truck. But either way, bro, should I go inside? No, no, no. Never mind. They moving at, at, a, at a decent rate. I guess I ain't really in no rush. Hey, right, should I try a dragon fruit freeze drink? Should I do it? I might go ahead and do it, coach. If I do, y'all gonna see it in the uh, in the title of the video. I might I might go ahead and add it. If it's like less than two dollars, I'll probably go ahead and add it. You feel me? Hold on, I'm getting the call. Hello. A few moments later. All right, y'all. So I don't know about this. I low key want to get the dragon fruit freeze, but they saying it's a dollar a happy hour that's two to five and it's 12 18 right now. How much is the regular one? You feel me? The regular is 249. Can't do it. Might have to come back at two. Hold on, coach. Yeah, sir, I was uh, here for a pickup order. What's the name? Uh, Alan Thompson. Hey, everything look good on that screen? Uh, yes, sir. Come on up. All right. But yeah, I would go ahead and get that that dragon fruit freeze because it looks good. I've seen a couple people uh for that dragon fruit freeze. I've seen some people do reviews of it and all that. But like I said, if I can wait and get it at two o'clock for a dollar versus two forty nine, what you think I'm gonna do? <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna do? If you thought I was gonna spend that, you don't know me too well. <laughs> you feel me? But either way, bro, we just waiting in line right now. I probably still should have went inside, but it is what it is. Really, I should have just waited till two o'clock to get the dragon fruit freeze, but I didn't know. You feel me? If I would have known, I'd have waited a good hour and a half and just went ahead and ordered it then. But either way, if y'all want to see a review to that dragon fruit freeze, just drop a comment and I'll definitely uh. I definitely check it out and I might get, you know what I'm saying? I might review something else from Taco Bell in that same video. But if y'all wanna see my review to that, just let me know in the comments. I'll drop it in the next day or two. But yeah, man, this is how I'll catch y'all when we get this food, bruh. Thank you, sir. I was 
actually pretty quick. Now look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, coach. Hold on. It bit right here say sealed for you. What do you mean sealed, my guy? Like y'all saying this like y'all didn't have to touch this food to make it. I don't really understand that. But either way, I mean, at least they, you know what I'm saying, using a couple precautions. But I'm most definitely ready to try this out. Catch y'all when uh when I get stationary and set everything up. All right, guys. Now we got a little different, a little different setup. I don't think y'all have ever seen me in this setup before, but I'm at work, so hey, we gotta make it work. You feel me? Um, let me go ahead and take these off, y'all. That's the this is the regular chalupa, and I can tell because these other ones are wrapped in like some type of foil. This wrap here, I've never seen them use this kind of wrap before, but anyway, we got one. Three. And we got all our sauces here. Got the Diablo. Got the fire. Of course, got the regular mild sauce. This is my favorite for sure. Um, is that all? I think that's all we need. So, what should we? First of all, we got to start it off with our grace. Hold on now. Do that guys are great. Thank you for the food that I'm about to receive. I hope you're nourishment of my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and bless your name. Amen. Hey, we gotta pray over the food. You feel matter of fact, which one should I I think I'm gonna try the regular chalupa first. Even though I know how it tastes. And still try that. Look at all these tomatoes, bruh. What the heck? Did y'all put enough tomatoes on this thing? Like, God, dog. That thing maxed out with tomatoes, bro. I gotta take some of these off, ain't no way. Might as well put a whole tomato on it. No, sir. For this particular one, I don't know what's going on with this shell. Hold on. This shell, like it, it, it looks regular, but this thing is hard as a brick. We're gonna leave that right there. That's the steak. A fun fact: I've never had steak from Taco Bell. Matter of fact, I don't think I've ever had the actual chicken besides the shredded chicken that comes on that quesadilla that's on the dollar but i'm looking for the beef that's chicken i'm really disappointed about <laughs> about this one here bro because that should have been that bag that's supposed to be way softer than that this feels like it's going to be softer let me give y'all a little close up Feel me? I can crack that open. So this is the beef. Oh, that's good. Oh, I need to show y'all. It comes in this little, this little handheld thing. So I guess you could carry it around with you type thing. But I'm trying to figure out. This has the toasted cheddar on it, right? How does it? How is this one softer than this one? This is the same exact thing. It just has cheddar on the outside of it. So how how does this get that hard? And this one's softer. Than, like that don't even make no sense. That's good. All right, coach. 
We're gonna do the chicken necks and the steak lines. <clears throat> We're still, I mean, still the same exact setup. But this is the chicken option, which I feel like you can barely see, but it's a piece of chicken right there. They really ain't put that much chicken in here though. I mean, that ain't bad, but that ain't what I want it to be either. You feel me? That That's okay to me. The beef one, I would definitely go with that over the chicken one. We about to try some Diablo sauce on it though. It's the hottest one they got. Never had it before. about half the packet on there. See, now with all those ingredients around it, that's actually not as hot as I thought it was going to be. But with the sour cream, the tomato, the lettuce, like everything kind of can bind around it. That's not as bad. Not as bad as I thought it'd be, but we're going to move, move on into this last one. The steak. You feel me? One more time for the one time. This one feels like it's the heaviest one. This steak look like mushrooms to me, bruh. Steak don't look... I don't know. We gonna see. Surprisingly, the steak <clears throat> is between the steak and the beef. I like the beef just because that's the original. I like the actual flavor of it, but that steak just caught me off guard. Out of all these, the chicken one is definitely my least favorite for sure. The steak one ain't even got sauce on it and it's hitting you feel me? Like I said, this is my first time trying Taco Bell steak. Now I'm thinking to myself, how have I never tried this steak before and it's hitting like this? I can't do that, bro. Here's what I'm about to do. That shell is so hard, but I don't know what they did to it. If I eat that, it's just gonna be, that's gonna be a waste. So we got my beef toasted cheddar one right here and I'm gonna just put these ingredients inside. So I'm gonna have them maxed out. But this thing is literally hard as a rock. Now I got a double stuffed. Got a double stuffed toasted cheddar chalupa. No joke. After tasting this again, that steak might be my favorite, bro.
Like, this ain't bad. But the steak just jumps out more flavor. <clears throat> mm. Like I was saying, the steak just jumps out more flavor-wise. Feel me? You bite into it, it's like that thing is just... Okay, I ain't hitting. Put some mild sauce on here. Are y'all still here watching? If you're still here watching, drop a comment. Feel me? So the chicken was definitely underwhelming. Let me try a little bit of fire sauce. I put some mild. I put the Diablo sauce on the chicken. Now I'm trying it with fire. And I put some mild sauce on the, the steak. See this this chicken. The chicken with the fire sauce is perfect. The Diablo is like a little too, it's like not even too much of a flavor to it. More so just heat. But this fire on here is actually pretty good. Is it worth the three dot? Well, like I said, the steak one was my favorite, and the steak one was like four dollars or like four twenty nine. Is that worth it? <clears throat> Not really, in my opinion. I ain't trying to drop four dollars, almost five dollars, on one chalupa, and y'all don't even max it out with like meat or nothing like that. You feel me? Personally, I mean, I would get a regular one, a beef, and just have to like. Yeah, I know that the actual steak is going to hit more for me, but I ain't trying to pay $5 for one taco. Still ain't tried the hot. I did mild fire and Diablo. Let's try the hot for this last bite of the beef. Mm. That's okay. I don't know, man. Either way, y'all just got my thoughts on it. <clears throat> If you've already tried these, or either one of them, get down there in the comments. Let me know which one you've tried. And what's your favorite? If, if you tried all three of them, as far as the steak, chicken, and beef, get down there in the comments. Let me know what your favorite is. Like I said, for me, the steak, that was my first time eating Taco Bell steak. That was by far my favorite out of all three of these. Because the beef normally is what I'll go for. But <clears throat> the chicken... Wasn't enough flavoring by itself, but the fire sauce kind of made that like a perfect mix. But the chicken is still third on my list. St steak is number one because the flavor when you bite into it without any sauce is just, is just there. You feel me? The actual beef is kind of bland when you go from the steak back to the actual beef. You feel me? It's kind of bland, but either way, bro. Like I said, that's just my thoughts on it. Y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know if you tried this out. If you did, let me know what you thought about it. 
If y'all have suggestions for new reactions, new food reviews, anything like that, get down there in the comments as well. Let your boy know. But hey, man, I ain't really got too much else to say. Um, but yeah, if y'all want to see that review to the Dragon Fruit Freeze from Taco Bell, just let me know in the comments. But hey, either way, we on the road to 15K subscribers, a team. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going, keep it growing. And like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video.